Muslims, how's Ramadan going for you guys? It's great. This year I created a family cooking and cleaning plan for Ramadan. Every day someone else in the family is responsible for cooking iftar, the meal we break our fast with. We are six adults at home and everyone is thrilled to participate. My father, who is not used to cooking was very creative and enjoyed trying to cook new stuff. My sister is cooking food from all over the world so next week will be Mexican food, iftar. Also the cleaning up kitchen plan is to make my brothers participate more in cleaning and tidying up. They felt bad that me and my sister are always the ones who end up washing the dishes after a long day of fasting. One week into Ramadan and everyone is helping now, so we get to have more time as a family. My plan was a total success and I hope this mentality is kept up even after Ramadan because it benefited the family dynamic. Asterisk, asterisk, asterisk edit, this blew up. Thank you for the sweet messages. I am trying to answer as many questions as possible. First week was a bit stressful not because of Ramadan but because of school but so far it's going well. Honestly, pretty bad. Doesn't feel like Ramadan at all without family. My dad and I are the only people fasting so it's just the two of us on the table at Iftar and Suhoor. Not to mention school and exam anxiety. And of course my country experiencing a third wave of the virus. I miss actually enjoying Ramadan skeptical. Edit, thank you everybody for all the kindness. You guys have truly made my day. I can't believe so many people took out time to offer advice, say something kind, and even ask questions. I don't know any of you but will be thinking of you all in my prayers. Sending thoughts and love smiles. It's going great thanks. The toughest part for me is talking with patients all day. It can sometimes make my throat dry and make me tired but this month really is a blessing and allows me to gain a lot of clarity and helps to ground me. The older I get, it also helps me to fine-tune my nutrition. I make a conscious effort to eat really well and stay super hydrated during the times I can eat so that I can perform well at work and also allows me to still play sports, work out and be active. Thanks for asking up and I hope you and your loved ones are in good health and spirits folded hands medium dark skin tone edit. Wow. Just wow. I can't put into words the feelings of gratitude and happiness in me right now. The questions you all have asked have been amazing and the conversations, discussions sparked even more so. I've tried my best to answer every single person who's asked a question or commented, but if I somehow missed you and you have a question feel free to DM me. It's quite late here and I have to be up in a few hours to eat before dawn so that I'm not too tired fasting. If you have any questions I'll do my best to get to them in the um or you can feel free to DM me. Once again. It's been an absolute pleasure meeting so many of you beautiful and genuine souls. I can't tell you how full my heart feels right now. Wishing each and every one of you nothing short of good health and happiness. And to those observing Ramadan, may the remaining days bring you tranquility and peace folded hands medium dark skin tone. I'm loving it. I am fatigued all the time during the rest of the year but when I'm fasting in Ramadan I am hyper alert and energetic. Any other month if I fast I die but Ramadan hits different. Thanks for asking. So, as a non-Muslim, I am genuinely curious. Do you guys wind up losing a lot of weight because of this? I'm not Muslim, but one of my mates is Muslim so I tried fasting for Ramadan with him. I couldn't last after two days, I have no idea how y'all do it for an entire month, but it sure does take some dedication and serious faith made me appreciate everything that I take for granted a lot more. Keep in mind that this was just after fasting for two days. If any Muslims, or fasting non-Muslims, see this I wish you all the best with your fasting and endeavors. This is so cute, I'm sorry but you just made my fast 20 times better so thank you. Um it's going pretty well, I'm super glad that with online school I can kick back and really focus on spirituality and Allah. I've been reading Hadith book, Alhamdulillah, so in spiritual wise, this is the best Ramadan yet. The only downside is that we can't go to the mosques because of COVID obviously. So no more staying at the mosque till 12 a.m. and going to iftar parties, also eating at IHOP for Sari is something that is not happening this year. I don't get to see my extended family, but that's okay because they suck anyways. Also I can't really focus or study on the assignments that teachers have been piling on me especially on an empty stomach, so I'm pushing through that. But other than that it's been really fun because I have the opportunity to cook some good food too and get closer to Allah. Edit, so I just got an award, 
And this is actually like my fifth time posting on Reddit. So first, thanks for the award and second what the heck does the award mean? This is really cool, big thank you. Man I'm not even Muslim and this made me smile, I hope any Muslims reading this have a good holiday filled with easy fasting and positive spirituality. I wish y'all could go to your mosques to pray and I hope whatever the alternative is, is still good. This is my second Ramadan, first as a Muslim convert. It's hard the first couple of days, but then it gets better. My husband loves the fact that I cook a new dish every night for iftar lol. I've been so active and full of energy this Ramadan. It's going really well. Working extended hours at the hospital as a lab technician because of COVID. Full body protection and fasting don't go very well together. So far so well alhamdulillah. School really bugs me though. I have to wake up at like 7 a.m. in the morning and get no sleep after eating sihiri at 2 a.m. I've been trying to exercise and eat healthier too unlike previous Ramadans. Of course, I'm doing my five prayers, tarabi, etc. And reading the Quran too. Ramadan Kareem to everyone. This is incredibly kind. Thank you. One of the most important parts of Ramadan is the sense of community that it engenders with all those who practice, so to not have that last summer and this one has really exacerbated the burden. A post like this really helps a lot. It's going okay. It's the first one without my grandma so her not sitting in her spot on the couch making sure we all had our food she obviously didn't fast as she got too old has been weird to adjust to. Other than that I get so sleepy during the day. I'm not Muslim but I am loving Ramadan so far. The family next door are Muslims and they also have family that live in two or three other houses on my street. All her family go round on an evening to eat and every night the kids have brought me a huge plate of food round rice, chicken all sorts but the homemade onion bhajis and vegetable samosas are amazing. This isn't related to Ramadan but the kids are great. Before I got my new puppy about 5 years ago they used to be terrified of dogs but now they feed him treats off the fence and even come round almost every day for 30 minutes or even longer at times just to play in the garden with him. IDK I haven't been able to sleep at night before and after Suhoor so I've been sleeping throughout the day which is kinda bad. Personally, I'm not Muslim, but reading through this thread has been a nice experience hearing other people's stories. I'm not Muslim, but I am fasting for Ramadan and wearing a hijab. Not as difficult as I expected it to be, and I like the hijab. Choosing what people get to see makes me feel very powerful. I never thought I would dress so conservatively, but I'm really enjoying it. I used to work at an international airport doing cargo, and we would fight like bastards to be on night shift with Mahmud Mughal when it came to Ramadan, because obviously he wanted to work nights during that time, and we wanted to work nights with him and the Tupperware tubs of home-cooked food his wife sent in to work with him. She would cook so much every day pretty much all of us used to get a healthy serving. I just wanted to drop by and say I hope you are all doing well, I'm a Christian and I think Ramadan sounds like a beautiful holiday. I hope it is filled with peace and love. Heart I send you my prayers for you to find happiness in these upsetting times. Ah, look at us bonding over Ramadan. This is so nice, 3 Ramadan has been super fun so far alhamdulillah, but it's been a bit sad to not be able to go to iftar potlucks at the mosque or go to Taraway, but with 10 people in my household. We have enough company for Suhoor, Iftar, and Inshallah Eid. Also, no one has come up to me and say wah, you can't eat or drink for an entire month? Or stuff like that. Instead, I've had conversations with people, like my teacher, who ask thoughtful questions about Ramadan and Islam to actually learn. It's so disgusting and ignorant how people paint our religion like they do on the media, when really, they should come to us with peace in mind on both parts so they could actually learn about the peace and love Islam has. Second also, the Ramadan tweets and tiktoks are A+. Ramadan Kareem everyone. There are ups and downs. Compared to people who are starving in Yemen and other places I am having relatively good life. Ramadan is a wonderful time of peace and love. Empathy for the poor and needy. Commonly asked questions. Are you allowed to drink water, no food or drink from dawn till sunset? Do you lose weight? Not really because generally people pile on at the breakfast what they don't eat during the day hunger headaches and caffeine withdrawal. It can happen that one doesn't take part in seri, eating before dawn. But generally from experience I find it is easier to cope without food in Ramadan than other days edit. 
who are exempt from fasting, children, sick, mentally ill, pregnant women, breastfeeding women and women on their periods. Those people whose condition changes such as women on their period will be required to make up the missed fasts during any time of the year what if you need to take medication, if you're ill enough to require medication you are exempt. If you have a condition like diabetes where you have to eat you are exempt. I'm struggling with not smoking all day. May Allah bring us patience. Going well thanks. I got used to fasting on day 3, now it's day 11, I think. So I'm pretty comfortable. I don't even notice hunger or thirst when I'm fasting anymore. Body and mind are used to it. Tip for your first time fasters. When you break your fast, start with teeth and eat. May your day be filled with joy and happiness. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe for more quality content every day.